What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing you another video and today it's a rad movie review for a new film that dropped on Shudder called Skin of a Rink and it's directed by Kyle Edward Ball and this is going to be a film that has been highly talked about so far this year as being one of those films like who knows like you could like it or you could heavily not like this. It's a very experimental type film, very low budget and like I said it's currently streaming on Shudder so today we're going to talk about my positives the negatives, the rating, and then I'm gonna send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So Skin of Marink is a new horror film currently streaming on Shudder, which is following the storyline of two children who wake up in the middle of the night to find out that their father is missing and so are the doors and windows to their home. So they're basically stuck in the home. And also the lights. Apparently there's no lights in this freaking house except for a television. But, you know, we'll get into that more when we talk about positives and negatives and stuff. And right off the bat, I don't want this to be just a slam video. I'm going to tell you right off the bat right now, I did not really enjoy this film. But I don't want it to be a full-on just slam dunk kind of shit-talking video. This f film actually does have some positives and the positives that I like are that there's some kind of like cool sound effects that go on throughout the film and the way they use them and the sound design I actually found to be quite enjoyable. And there's this cool kind of like, you know, that popping kind of sounds and scratching when you leave like a vinyl record kind of playing and it's just like spinning still and you can kind of hear the pops and the cracks and the scratches and stuff. That sound too, like, like I said, the sound design and sound effects are really there and there's a, a point in this film where you can tell there's atmosphere and that the creators like the, you know the creator of this film he wanted to go with a certain vibe and this is definitely an experimental type film because it's a lot of just shots of the house and you don't get on full-on like pictures of the face you know what I mean full-on face shots and people talking and dialogue and conversations in rooms like none of that happens none of that happens in this film it's very much just vibe it's just a vibe and atmosphere that they carry on with this film and i must like say they did attempt it's very ambitious and they attempted to do something with this film but it definitely fell flat for me so now we're going to get into the mix of negatives as that this is one of those films that man it is so long so long so boring and this is based off a short film i believe called heck by the same creator. It's currently streaming on YouTube, I believe. And I can totally see this concept being better as a short film because it's a smaller package. You know, it's not as much of a runtime and stuff. And this one is just, you feel the runtime and there's just not enough happens. And there's like minuscule, tiny scares that they try to go for, jump scares that really don't work at all. The dialogue is just, it's, there's none. There's really none. Like there's little, minuscule moments of dialogue but it's stuff that for me I like kids wouldn't even say and some of it half of it you can't even understand so that's the problem too is like this film is ambitious they had an idea and I know they were trying to go for something but it's just it fell flat in a lot of ways and this is one of those films like you can't even tell if it's found like it's it's supposed to be found footage like what are we looking at here like what is this supposed to be it's not like the kids walking around with the camera but it got to a point where I was like watching this film and I was like, all right, we're staring at stuff. There's the TV, there's some Legos on the ground. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's one of those kind of movies. And I'm like, damn, and I'm watching it and like not enough happens, man. I was eager for anything. So like just when the camera started to pan and actually move, I was like, holy shit. I was like, oh my God. We got camera movement. Stuff is happening. So as you can tell, I definitely wasn't feeling this film. There was even a point they had this funny kind of jump scare with... Uh, a certain kid toy but like it just was hilarious like I laughed my ass off because it wasn't it wasn't that scary at all but like when I saw it and before they showed it I looked and I was like man that looks like are those like two naked titties in the dark like that's what it kind of looked like to me and I was looking and I was like oh my god maybe something's gonna happen and no nothing happens I was just maybe that was just my mind creating things because I was like oh man I need stuff to happen and yeah, the stuff that they go for in this film, it doesn't necessarily work. Like I said, by the time you hit that like 20 minute to 30 minute mark, it's definitely overstaying its welcome in terms of a film. And like I said, acting, there's just like no acting. Like how are you going to grade acting? There's no, there's no freaking acting in this film. 
script. How are you going to grade a script? Because the, there's no, barely any dialogue and the script, it's like, it's just so minuscule, so bland and just so basic in the worst way. And I kind of hate that. And it's annoying. Like, that's probably one of the worst things about this film is it's just so bland and basic in that way where you can see this concept being executed and being it done properly in a better fashion and it just land and they didn't make it work with this film. So you're watching it and you're like, dang, like they really didn't do anything with this concept. Like I don't even like, you know, Kevin or like the kids' names in the movie. I don't even like remember like stuff that happened and I wouldn't even have cared if stuff happened to them. As a matter of fact, I wanted bad stuff to happen to them. So stuff was actually happening on screen. So yeah, for me, Skin of a Rank definitely hit, did not, did not land for me as a film that I would enjoy. I would not return to this film or even really recommend this film. I mean, I can understand people if you want to see, you know, like I said, it's extremely low budget. It's very kind of, <clears throat> I wouldn't say art housey, but it's it's an experimental type film. It's not really like there for story or anything like that. So you you know you really got to be into these type of films. And I know there are people out there that are enjoying this film. This there is an audience for this type of movie. <clears throat> I'm just not that audience. So in terms of my ranking for Skin of a Rank in the rad ranking, it's gonna get. A 2 out of 10, like I said, very, uh, just minuscule, low, low, and so far for 2023, I think, yeah, this is the lowest rated film I have so far for this year. Definitely, like I said, will never, ever return to this film in any way, shape, or form, because I'll, I'll remember it just because of how, like, boring and, like, how much I was just sitting there, and I was like, dang, like, I was got to a point, especially, like, around an hour and 10 minutes, I was like, because this is an hour and 40 minutes, this movie about an hour and 10, I was like, oh, I'm kind of getting tired. I'm kind of falling asleep. I had to kind of like actually move around and kind of like wake myself up because I was like, man, I'm going to fall asleep on this. So it's like, yeah, it's definitely a film that was lackluster. I can feel the atmosphere, what they were trying to do, but it's definitely one that it overstays its welcome by the time you hit that 30 minute mark. Not a lot happens. The jump scares don't work and you can't really grade anything else like acting or like script or any of that stuff because it's there's really none of that. There's really nothing going on. So like I said, Skin of a Rank is one of those movies. Yeah, but definitely 2 out of 10 in my book. Is, it's not a recommend. I would kind of stay away from this film and just be like, eh, skip it. Move on to other stuff. Like, I just wanted to digest it because, you know, it's 2023 film. Plus, I'm a huge horror fan. And even if it's kind of crappy, shitty horror, I want to digest it so, like, I could give my thoughts on it and say that I've seen it and all that stuff. Even if it's a most obscure kind of title, I at least try to see them at least once. That way I can say that I've seen it and talk about it. So, yeah, that's why. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For this review, rad movie review of Skin and Marank, let me know in the comments section if you've seen this film. What did you think of this movie? I would love to hear from all of you. Be sure to like and subscribe too to the channel so you get more videos like this. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing my rad series review for Cobra Kai Season 5. I'm almost done with that, so be sure to stay tuned. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.